Snakes on a Plane is a movie that opens this Friday, but even before anyone knew anything about it except the title, it was a hit on the Internet. Jonathan Mum joins us now live from a computer where he's been keeping track of what's really become this summer's Internet phenomenon. Jonathan? Yes, it really has, Dale and Christina. You know, there are movies like The Blair Witch Project and 28 Days Later that attribute a lot of their success to the Internet, but Hollywood has never seen anything like the attention paid on the Internet to this movie right here, and, they, and it was the title that got them. They took it and they ran with it. Yes, there really is a movie called Snakes on a Plane, but it wasn't the movie that created all the commotion on the internet. It was the title. The idea that this high concept, rather ridiculous plot had Samuel L. Jackson attached to it uh, gathered a tremendous amount of internet activity, talking, blogging. Uh, it turned really into a, a huge phenomenon. There are blogs. A slight chance of snakes on this plane. Amateur trailers. A parody video contest featuring shorts with titles like tarantulas on a hovercraft, <laughs> raccoons on a space shuttle, llamas on a skateboard. There is snakes on the plane. There's even Dave Coyne doing impressions of supposed early acting auditions. I'll fight a snake. I don't care. Add to that parody movie posters, fan merchandising efforts, all the people screaming, they're really sad. Even songs written by web browsers. Rather than fight it, New Line, the studio behind Snakes on a Plane, embraced it. They held their own internet contest for songs for the soundtrack. Actually, the biggest coup of all was the fact that the filmmakers actually went back and shot extra bits suggested on the web, including what has now become Samuel Jackson's immortal, if slightly off-color line. I have had it with these mother snakes on this mother plane. The fans on the Internet really wanted a rated R snakes on a plane movie. The movie was originally scheduled to be PG-13. And I'm very good at it. But the fans wanted Samuel L. Jackson to curse at the snakes. The title didn't only grab those on the web. Snakes on a plane. Against the advice of his agents, it was the reason Samuel L. Jackson wanted to do the movie in the first place, even before he'd seen a script. I act brave and kill snakes and save the day. But at one point, the studio wanted to toss the title and call the movie Pacific Air 121. Which I Jackson would have none of it, and the title stayed the same. And after all the hype, New Line decided not to screen Snakes on a Plane for the critics. At this point, it doesn't matter if this is a good movie or not. In fact, really, now a critic weighing in on the movie might do nothing more than spoil expectations. Now, in case you haven't seen any of this stuff on the Internet, you can go to our website, and uh, it'll lead you to, uh, to some, of the, some of the spots where, uh, where you can see a lot of what's going on there. Uh, parents will be aware that a lot of the material is R-rated, as is the movie. And I should point out, Dale and Christina, that also on our website are some of the bloopers uh, where we actually dealt with that uh, snake ourselves. Uh, yeah, the one that was behind you crawling during your stand-up, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the one that's no longer in the studio. Yeah, it better not be. All right. Thanks. We're glad they didn't change the title, Snakes on a Play. Wonderfully cheesy. Yeah. Can't wait to see I it. I love it. I can't wait to see it. Pigs in a blanket. And <laughs>